Yeah. You know, you, you're, you're above, you're way above me. You know, yeah. I'm not, so. Yeah, no, I've got, I've, I've got too much information in my head, so it busts sometimes, it, it gets overloaded. And I, I take walks now every day. I go right up the block, I, go, I say I'll go right up to the tank, that takes me about 35, 40 minutes to get there, and another 30 to get back. So on the weekends I go further. I go looking for dandelions. I've, found, I've got my little patches here and there. So that I, I, I mix it up and, and that keeps me going. <laughs> but you, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting the, you're, you're into that. I've noticed you're, you're on your health side of it as well. Yeah. I've noticed you're uh, eating healthy like. Yeah, well, uh, that's the, that's the thing. otherwise the legs pack up because I'm sitting in one spot too long and typing and it, it gets stuck, you can't move. When you go and turn over in your, your bed, Oops, it can't turn over. <laughs> so I thought, right, get up and go, you know, get, get a bit mobilised. Yeah, so, um, no, I've, I've, I've got my eye on everything going on in the world. Completely everything. I, I, I don't miss a thing. And really, um, Trump is, is letting the cat out of the bag. He, he, he's overzealous with his tweets. He, he he draws attention to uh, I'm, 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 I'm the one that will save you but he doesn't realize his tweets are killing the Gabali. It, it's actually yeah. dismantling them. Are you, are you aware of Russell J. Gould? Um, no, not really. Might be. The, the, the name been rings you, a bell. You, you must be aware of David Winmiller. Oh, well, he's dead now. Yeah, he died on the 21st of June this year. Yeah. But then all, 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 all because he was partners with Russell J. Gould. Yeah. Um, um, Russell, Russell, J., Russell J. Gould is Postmaster General. Yeah, yeah. So um, a, a few of my friends here were following that line. I, I, I cut loose from all, all of that because I was only looking at a, a, a king's point of view. And they're flying the king's flag, but no one talks for the king. No one ever did. No, no one. I've, I've asked the, they don't know the which. It's they don't it's know. French. Yeah, <laughs> they don't know which one. Which one? One day they'll be this king, and next week they'll be the other king. They don't know because it's been mixed up so well that you wouldn't know the difference if you didn't know what the whole history was of one or the other king. So I just follow the ship backwards from here, whence it came, and you'll find who's on the other end. <laughs> that's, 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 on a similar basis, that's basically what they've done. I mean, because what they do is all down because I mean, your doc, you've got the documents. It's all down to the documents who's got the who's got the correct titles. Yeah. And you, 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 you went because you've got the 1832, if I remember right, down down to 1832. And you've apostified, you've apostated uh, your documents now, haven't you? Yeah. So that's all. That's all. <coughs> that's that's. What, uh, the, yeah. Because what, what the thing is, the, the, the thing what, what I've been studying all this, and I'm trying to find, yeah. Because the thing is, we need the facts, and obviously you've got the facts on the documents. The other side to it is because of what understanding now what's going on in this world is is the language. And how they uh, bastardized the language, and we're all talking the Babylonian language because they've corrupted the language. But what David Wood Miller did, he, he, he cracked the code of language syntax, he syntax language, yeah, he syntax there. And he put he, with the syntax code of, of correct sentence structure communication, parse, say syntax grammar, it removes all the fraud from the documents. So if, if documents are correctly written, or as in old, old. See, old language was one word, one meaning, and it was, you know, it couldn't mean anything else other than what it should be, which is the true contractual language. Yeah. If it's written in, in, in now time, contractual language is what can correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar is. Therefore, what it says is what it means, and it can't mean anything else now or in a million years' time or any in, in endless time, because it's, it's in always now time talk. So it's talking the fact, and it can be read forwards and backwards, and it can only mean what it says. It means what it is, and it doesn't matter whether it's translated in all the different languages. When it's translated back, it will always still say, still remain exactly the same, 
and nothing would be lost in translation. Perfect. It's correct. It can't be wrong. It's, it's, it's the fact. So yeah. That where I, I, that was why I went down that. Yeah. That's why I was going down that road. But obviously, if you've got the, the correct um, documents and it's all correct, then it, it's, that's what it is. It is what it is. That's it, the fact. It's, that, that, the facts will always remain. It's a timeline. It's the timeline follows the ship backwards, right back to 1820. When, when in 1820, the ship, it, you can only do uh, a contract between me and you. It's a con two-way contract with one and another person. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, not yet. I'm, I'm just on Skype at the moment with a guy in uh, Britain. Um, I'll let you know as soon as it gets here. Yeah, I know. Well, that's they said it's coming. The, the, the fax, I mean, the email said it's coming. Um, so it left the post office yesterday, and it, it's it's supposed to be here today. Yeah. I'll give you a call when I when I think because I'm on the Skype at the moment talking. I've got a whole audience listening. <laughs> okay, I'll ring up. That's my friend. He's uh, um, the, my friend. He's uh, doing British title on native land. So when it comes to um, uh, contract, it's all about a contract, a, a two two way contract. But you're looking at private and public. When, when the, oh, yeah. the 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 what, what the what the corporates did they hijacked the contracts of the king through the ecclesiastic church, and so I've got the documents now. Daryl found it. Daryl Payne in uh, in California, come across it, and in there it says it's not found the the, the king's uh, the, the king to replace the other king on the e ecclesiastic title. The Pope is Sorry. using that. Just one, just one more second. Yeah. Do you want me to put this live? Because we're, we're. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go for it. Go, go for it. I'll put it. I'll, I'll, I'll go live now. Then. Yeah. I'll, go for it. We'll just talk. I'll put you on loud speaker so it, uh, yeah. it can be heard then. Yeah. Cool. Todd might come on. He's he's there. I saw him posting. I'm just about. To, I'm just going to go live now. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay then. So now it's now it'll be recording it anyway. So okay. I can uh, I can put this one put yep. onto YouTube then. We can oh, go. One second, we be, I've got other profiles on this. Still, somebody else is talking. Oh, I just found it. Okay, there we go. Right then. Okay then. I just uh, I just um, stay it onto uh, onto the Facebook. I'm talking to uh, John Manoa at the moment from New Zealand. And uh, he's um, explaining to us a little bit. Uh, well, he's, he's filling us with some some valuable information that, uh, that uh, we're, I'm trying to get out there. So, uh, welcome you. This is uh, this is John Manoa. I'm talking. I'm talking to him right now on Skype, live on Skype. Okay, then, John. Hi there. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm here in, uh, in in New Zealand in Kirikiri Northland, um, about three hours out of uh, Auckland. Um, city and uh, I've been on this trail for a long time uh, following the monarch as a surrogate king and a surrogate paramount chief uh, two party contract that's long standing uh, back to 1823 King George IV made a contract to sell the whole of New Zealand uh, to the British crown uh, as crown land lease title that's the lease title, and that started off all the leases in the world. And at that point of time, it was a clean title. You have bad titles now, and a clean title, you have to make sure which one you're going to deal with, or which law applies to private, which is our contract is private, nobody's business, and then you get public. That's shareholding with everybody else. Uh, so. Um, from that period of time, you've had four kings, at least, tied up with our contract. No one can touch it. No one can interfere with it, tamper with it, uh, because it's never been uh, implemented yet until today. 
the timing has been uh, a long time coming. Uh, so I've uh, um, collated everything on the native side as a model for all native countries in the world of the King Conquerors. You're starting from King William III. Uh, he created the Bank of England Act, the Pound Note and Gold Coins Act, and also the Eight Point Star that you see the Queen and everybody else in that royal side family wearing the Eight Point Star of St. Patrick's Order. Uh, that He created those laws as well. So those were for common law people or common people of the King. It was clean right at that point. Follow the ship right back from now till then. There is nobody in between. Anybody else is a third party in a two-party contract with one chief and one king. From then on, everyone else altered the contract from Westminster Magistrate Court. Um, into their own jurisdictions. Ask yourself, who do you get your authority from? You'll end up on that king. No matter what, all the other king's titles were consolidated into one king's title and put on a stock market with the next king. King George the Fourth was the first one that did the contract with the chief and then King William the Fourth came along and commercialized it on the stock market in New York. He set that up for the people. Whatever's happened between from then till now, it has been bastardized and changed around for other private interest third parties, starting with the Queen, who abandoned ship of Admiralty, this is the magistrate court I'm talking about, to go from one country to another you have to go through the Magistrate Court, which is a bank. The bank started here first in that system in um, um, Waitangi, up here in New Zealand, and then it ended up in Helensville, uh, where the bank here was started off, the BNZ Bank went to the League of Nations Bank, went to the World Court Bank, that's our bank, of that contract. And all of that wealth has come out of the king's titles with one chief. All the other countries, Canada, Australia, um, 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 Africa, India uh, and Britain um, have come out of these titles. And that's what I'm saying. We have to gather and mobilize together to claim that title. All I've done is set it up. I've set it up for you people to claim that inheritance because we were a two-party contract in 1823 with that King George IV and um, <coughs> that can't be broken right till now and now it's me and Matt Taylor from England as a two-party contract to those kings. We are acting kings. He's a King Arthur, I'm a King William, um, in that document. This is the King of Commerce, the King of the Sea, the King of the King's Royal Revenue, prized possessions, everything else that is in a King's Bench Court, in the Queen's Bench Court, is muzzled. We've taken the muzzle off the Queen's Bench Court and going in there as a collective group uh, of... Uh, 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 shareholders in a co corporate well. You have to be corporate to play a corporate game, uh, Andy. Uh, so we have to go back and step in back in time and turn ourselves into a corporate just like them. The only thing is we've got the legal documents that got them on the land in the first place. So all we're doing is diffusing their title of legal, the word legal, out of their documents. Now the Pope just recently, um, uh, he destroyed all laws, Admiralty law, his own laws, Admiralty law, UCC law, Canon law, Courier law and civil law. He destroyed it all in America, but if you're still using it, you get the bill. 
from the King's Bench Court, the creator of all that law, Admiralty law and maritime law. Maritime on the land, over the bar, the sandbar on your land, and jumps on the land from the Admiralty title from Britain to here. I'm just making an example of how they started this racket off and come on the land with this magistrate bank with their money in their pocket and away they went to develop the land for the king. It's still the same, it hasn't changed. The original document cannot be changed until we change it, the original contractors. Okay, uh, Andy, so that's how that works. All the documents look fancy of today in the courts from one to the other, and but they still have their own jurisdictions of maritime law on the land by the port where the birth certificates were used by these agents of the king. Okay, then the queen came along and the Rothschilds grabbed the queen and made kids, the Cabelli kids to, to Queen um, uh, Victoria, started up the Victoria uh, in Australia the, the, on that queen side of crown, queen's crown, and uh, they created this word Maori. Words again, Andy. They created the word Maori and made a Maori tribe called Ngāti Whātua here in Auckland, New Zealand, as their property, their tribe, iwi tribe. I'm telling these Maoris over here, you belong to someone else, foreign from here. And so I brought in the Moai, that's the statue on East Island, because the Dutchman never touched it, because it's a memorial to God's face of the world. The birth of the world is the naval on East Island. So that's a title memorial. The British Museum stole all the memorials in through the whole world and the Rothschilds grabbed all those memorials to memorialise their titles for their um, uh, financial investment instruments, their legal instruments. They did, they hijacked the Queen to make her sign over her title from the kings to her. She is gone from Westminster, um, Westminster uh, and um, gone into EU Parliament. She started that up. I, I followed it. I've documented the EU Parliament starting with Gordon Brown, the Scotsman, and uh, the Queen Scotswoman, Scots, uh, Queen of Scots. They started that racket off behind closed doors and started the EU Parliament as the Queen's own business, private. She's a private corporation business, Queen Elizabeth II. She mortgaged Britain twice. Mortgaged first, City of London, then mortgaged again. Queen Elizabeth II is a corporate company that's owned by her. And Buckingham Palace, that's another corporate company that she runs. She's got a few uh, corporate private businesses. She's following our private common law people's king to get that title. If you ask where your title from, they're going to land up on these kings. King William III, creator of the bank. Um, King George IV, creator of the contract. King William IV, the creator of the commercial trading bank flag that he gave us to lock that contract to this land here in native. And we've got King George the third, the father of King George the fourth, King William the fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the first, the three brothers, and now we've got King Ernest Augustus the fifth, the reigning monarch, living in London, he's our partner, he's our legal partner, but we're the ones with the contract and the wealth and the money and the inheritance in our contract, hasn't been said before, only till now. You are creditors if you're watching this video. Anybody in the world where the Queen, everything she's touched, has turned to fraud and corruption. Everything she touched, anybody she deals with, anybody with their head on their documents, gets the bill, Andy. And it goes back, you have to be a creditor with a mobile phone number, not birth certificates, because the birth certificates are around 100 million pounds or dollars, US dollars, each birth certificate. Now normally someone on a benefit here in New Zealand gets about 26,000 like myself. That's all you're getting. They're getting the rest. I, I, I caught them out in the 
district court in Auckland when they took me in and arrested me for Cook Street, the property land title. I'm going to back to get it this time. But I'm saying here, Andy, you need the numbers to formulate, to make a claim this way. And you need the military of Britain to start off and I'll write out the pound note. The pound notes are sitting in the ANZ Bank here in Auckland. I went in there, it's all on video on YouTube, where I went in there and deposited those pound notes, including this 970 million trillion trillion pound note. If you're asking why it's got King Ernest Augustus's head on it, he's entitled to that as the monarch bloodline. He is a direct bloodline to those kings I just said. And so, although he has no contract, we are the ones with the contract and he is the one that gets it from us, the people. Okay, Andy? It belongs to the people yeah. because wherever that contract went with the Queen, she took the King's head with it in their court system to collect the leases for this lease land, crown lease lands, back to the King through the Queen. She's only an agent acting on behalf until a king is found. Those documents that um, um, Daryl Payne in California has found shows the ecclesiastic part of the Pope and the Vatican Church used that instrument that the king put together in Parliament to collect the rents and the land leases, the fines and administrative costs for the governments uh, in Westminster and, West, and uh, the City of London uh, where these cabalis are running their business. We are going up against them now with this title. We go together in all the native countries and uh, Harvey um, is watching in Canada and so he, we've been talking like how I'm talking to you on this subject, uh, Andy. So we've got Matt Taylor, he's proficient enough on uh, his SOS Independent Party in um, Brighton, uh, England, and so he's taking the Moai, King William the Fourth Party, that's a political party, into Westminster. Uh, and so I should be there before long once I get this um, tidal turbine going, it belongs to the people. They've got to claim it before somebody else does because I've uh, disclosed the whole plan on Facebook to everybody on, on my sites. Uh, they, they need to claim that. Um, uh, I have another uh, website starting up next week, um, uh, Andy, it's um, moapowerhousegroup.com uh, and so um, we've got um, Harold Link in um, uh, Thailand that's um, uh, supposed to be partnering with me but he, I think he's having a little bit of a think about where, where his position is as far as using um, Thailand as a base for getting the tidal turbines going. But, so you have to claim that because it's the water. The water and this flag that we hold here takes precedent over the sea. Uh, the only king's flag... I'll go and get it now. I... Um the, uh, the, I met, no, I've, not, I've been following John a bit, uh, but I put a post up today at the BBC. This, uh, is, the flag, the, this is the flag of the King with the, the eight-point star that the Queen and all the royal families and everybody else is wearing this eight-point star of St. Uh, Patrick's. It's in north, east, south, west of the world. There. Those kings gave us this flag. This is a contract flag, a, co a commercial trading bank flag of free passage through the world and that's why we're using it to claim all the water with the tidal turbines for the people, the king's common law people. So the blue sea, blue sky and the red cross of those King George, right? And the Vatican claims that, that too because of the ecclesiastic, the Church of England, this, this red cross of King George I, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, but we only have King George III, King George IV in those kings on this contract. Now the contract is only that period of time, you can forget about going to any other kings because they had no banks, no mortgages, no the mortgages and everything, liens and everything was made by these kings. 
Now you've got a black strip around the red cross here. That's the Satan. That's these cabalis to keep them out. The black strip running around the red cross of the other King Georges to keep them separated from the, the, the King Georges that we have, right? The, the, the small flag in the corner, oh, there's another one, no, not this one. Anyway, but this, this, this here is our um, authority, legal authority as sovereign uh, people. This is where the sovereignty is. It's tied up in this flag, the pound note, the gold coins, and the jurisdiction of authority to go right through the world with the people. So that gives you an idea, uh, um, a crossover idea of everything that I'm saying that's legal with this hat I wear. This, this is what got the people, uh, that got the courts stumped in Auckland when I went in there. This is the eight point star, King um, William on a horse and his ship in the background. You'll see these and that's his crown there, King William the fourth crown. This is all you need to go and seize the land. Well, we'll put We'll put these. Uh, we'll put the pictures of the, the flag and, and your hat and, and so up on the uh, on the comments of this video. Yeah. So that uh, it can be seen. Uh, yeah. I'll so in, I'll put it in the so that's the legal authority. Everything is legal. The Queen has her own legal. The Pope has his own legal. He destroyed his legal. That leaves this legal. Only legal left. This is the Admiralty law, civil law, but not. Uh, not uh, uh, UCC law. We don't use UCC law. We're going back to the laws that these kings made in their time in Westminster. We're allowed to. No one can tell a king what to do because we're the ones that are using the king's legal authority even though they're gone. We're acting the king until another king goes in his place. I'm acting here as a king because no one else is. No one else can without the documents to go with it and a flag. This is the only flag that can go to Britain. Um, Matt Taylor took it into Buckingham Palace, but um, he's not the one with the contract, but he did a, a good job of going to alert them. So they won't get spooked when I come there. I don't need a whole bunch of Maoris. I'll go by myself uh, because this is, this is individuals. I, I only need, you only need two in a contract. You've got prime ministers, you've got presidents, they do the whole job and sell the whole place out. That's, they're selling the whole place off. The Vatican and, and these Cabellis, uh, these um, KMs, um, Khazar mafias, are selling it because it's not theirs in the first place to sell. All we do is seize it all back with this flag. And uh, they can't do anything about it in their courts. So we step into their courts and hire one of the courts and turn it into a king's bench court. <coughs> and conduct the business ourselves. Uh, there's no need to fight anybody um, because what we do with the pound note is that we write on it 20 billion to pay the military and in lieu of them going to seize all the property. So it's not a hard thing to do. It's just a normal business transaction of uh, a contract, a bad uh, contract, default contract. That means they've never answered to any allegations I've got. You'll notice uh, all the things I'm saying, you're no, no one's allowed to say they're a crown or a bank except this. Uh, so no one has challenged that. Somebody's looking after me, I won't guess who, in this um, commercial business. Um, but you need numbers, you need finance, and then what Todd uh, Church said, where's the protection? This is your protection right here. It's a cash business, okay? This was put out to put on a ship, put on a plane, put on anything to sail from one country to the other through the magistrate court to go on the land. You can go on the land because the king gave this flag to us on the land, the dry land, not on the sea. The Union Jack was 200 miles out to sea in New Zealand and there it is at the top of the flag. They've got this one on the cross ring and they've got the British flag on the opposite side of this as a contract, right? They make no bones about it. They tell everybody, yep, this flag sits on the flag at Waitangi on a ship of Admiralty. That's a real British ship stuck on a dry land on a marae that they've stolen all my 
carvings from my tribe down on the east coast where the sun rises first in the world um, in a place called Te Araroa or Te Pito, the birth of New Zealand to Te Pito, East Island, the birth of the world there that's, that's a triangle, an exact square inside a circle of light you've got East, east Island up here at midday Te Pito Te Pito on the east coast, where I come from, short distance to the sun, you can just about walk there. And then on the other side in Ghana, Africa, is 6 p.m. right on the dot. That is the title that this Vatican is using, <coughs> the capstone on the top of the pyramids in Africa, the Sudanese and all those people. They are our bloodline. They're Andy, they've got the same DNA as me in Sudanese and um, also in East Island and here. And those time is the perfect, perfect title to the world. Right? That's one title. That's the Spirit of God's Earth title. The other one is these kings, the four kings, commercial. Man's law. We, we, we are the creator, we are the inheritors of the man's law in this flag, right? We, we, we have the right to use it at such time as when a king is found. Um, he is acting and talk for the king. It's up to people to decide for themselves, are you on the queen's side or are you on the king's side? One or the other, Andy. People have to say to themselves, do I want to stay with the queen when she's not there? Or do you want to go with a king that being in the closet for a while and just coming out to claim his title back. So that's how you do it. There's no need to um, uh, reinvent the wheel. It was already there. It was, we have to take up what belongs to us. We have to uh, take back what belongs to us and what has been pirate, pirated. This is for pirates, Andy. This flag was given to us to stop the pirates. This was given mm -hmm. as a instrument. It is a legal instrument to use against any third party tampering with our contract. As far as I'm concerned, I've got a contract with Matt Taylor, the live person on that end, or live human uh, person is one of those ones, but I'm saying in the jargon of English language, you can have as many words uh, interpreted, but it still comes down to money and dollars and cents uh, of that's what it was that, that this was put together to sail the seas to go in search of um, um, uh, goods and services for the king. That's how it started. That's what started everything um, in that period. The 970 million trillion trillion is backdated. We're backdating that right back to 1823 when this contract was signed. And we can go anywhere between. Anywhere between. So what I have to do in my job, uh, Andy, is to write the power note on anything credible to go and use that instrument. They, they can't deny us the use of something that was given to us. All right? Okay. So that's how so, it works. I'll, I'll take any questions now. So right. What this, I'm just thinking some more. Right? So therefore now then, who, then who are we going to, uh, because I mean obviously I know John was talking about the, the true king is in Portugal at the moment. Uh, I forget what the name, I forget the name of the person was now. So who would therefore, who's going to take place as the king then? Is that the uh, people going to speak for that? Because obviously the king is, is, is for the people. Therefore, what is, is the, uh, the law? The law is going to be a pure common law then down. Or is this man's law? Because you said you, you've got man's law. This is taking about the law. What, which law is it we're actually, uh, will be on this flag then? We're, we're, what is the law now? We're, we're using common law, okay, God law, common, common law, yeah. and the king uses common law. The, 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 the king's bench court uses common law, and his own law in England, the, the, the admiralty law, uh, the maritime law, that, those are the money laws. Uh, the common law really wasn't a money law uh, to make money. Okay, so on one hand you've got the native of that country or the, the English of that country or whoever got, got titles for it. That's that law, the common law. 
uh, man of the land. He's, so, the, he's the one that actually got the original title, whether it's uh, English or Scottish or, or, or Japanese or Chinese. They have an original title with no money in it. No money. That's, that's that title. And then you've got the commercial title of a king who, who turned those assets with his documents into money. Okay? This is a money flag. This is a money flag. And so we, 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 we use it as a creditor. Right? Because everything, everybody's debt because these cabalis made everybody debt instruments. Okay? This is diffuses the debt and turns it into credit. Okay? So that's that that's that part. The queen the king, it depends which king you go to, because any other king outside of who I said didn't have contracts, mortgages, liens, banknotes, coins, through Westminster. None. None. All the laws in China, India, uh, New Zealand, Australia, uh, all those countries that the Commonwealth gone to came out of these kings. You can forget about any other king. They haven't got a contract. Hardly. All those other kings that went into other countries from Portugal and that, they don't have contracts through Westminster. Everything that's been derived in the commercial world that the, the Rothschilds took over, the Popes took over and made all their wealth, came out of these kings. Okay? That's how it works. Only these kings, I say, have this title. If anybody else got yeah. Portugal titles, they traded, but they never had instruments through Westminster. So everything in the EU Parliament came out of this flag in Westminster. The Queen put EU Parliament together as second and third parties to this flag. Okay, you got that? They are third parties to a two-party contract between New Zealand, chiefs, this Queen, Elizabeth, was forced by these Cabellis and these Mafia, Khazar Mafias, forced her hand to um, listen to their uh, way they wanted to run her monarch. Right? They took over her monarchy and took over all the other titles um, uh, without jurisdiction. They created their jurisdiction through Queen Elizabeth and started off through Queen Victoria and the Rothschilds married into the uh, Queen Victoria and that's where the Mafia family has come out of that. Uh, so all instruments of making money from commerce. Now King William the Third and King William the Fourth set up the stock exchange in New York. All that wealth there has come out of this flag. This is 1834, right? 1834, backed onto the 1823 King George, his brother, title. King George IV and Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whareherehere Manukau in New Zealand, Cambridge here, to Cambridge, England. He went to England, 1820s, and learnt law, conveyancing, legal titles, native titles changed to king's titles, mortgages, and transfers, transactions, money, and he signed a contract. Okay? I've got all those documents that nobody can touch. And so his descendant in 1830 to 1837, King William the fourth period of time, his the chief paramount is equal to a king. The word paramount means king. Okay? So that's how that fitted. You've got other chiefs that have arikis and other names. They don't have this commercial name title. Okay? So that's that that defines a paramount chief is a commercial contract business man partner to a king. So this Tira Waikato's descendant Referefa Manukau signed another contract uh, with King William the Fourth and got this flag given to him to lock the contract of his ancestor so no one can touch it. You, know, you got that? You up with me so far? Mm -hmm. So now, yeah. now all the business that's been derived from the Pope 
the churches, the Queen, and all her corporations, there'll be about, I'd say about a good million families that, or, or, or people involved in running that uh, scam business, has come out of this. We can settle the accounts. We can call up their accounts, which is what we're going to do. Call up their accounts and get them settled. One shot. One shot. Uh, and one time to do it now that they're falling apart. It wasn't, uh, they weren't there for the long term. They were only there for themselves. Uh, and all that money they're using for wars and everything. This is a war flag, by the way. Andy, this, this, this is a decoration of war flag. Now what has happened is these Maoris here in New Zealand, the Queen invented that tribe in 1945, the period of war, that they sent these Maoris off the war and said, when you come back we'll have land for you. Titles, pieces of paper, pieces of paper. When they came back they said, where's our land? And they said, oh, we've given you that lot over there. It was swamp land. They said, no, our land's over there. And no, no, so we sold it off, you see? so. That's how that racket started. Um, uh, and so, <clears throat> with, with that, uh, the, um, the, the Queen and her Maori people have given the consent to every other country in the world to do the same. To use the same piece of paper to go and mortgage everything else. It became debt interest. Yep. It's always been in debt here. Everybody here is in debt. And that went right around the world from that legacy. Okay, that's a legacy of debt and this is going to diffuse all that debt but what most people do as sovereigns they want to clear the, themselves off out of the contract and get themselves out of the contract. What we're doing here Andy is pulling them into contract with this flag. We pull them into the same contract that they've pulled us into and challenge them that way. We go, each one that's doing it. The one that's spraying the skies, that's sitting in a plane driving it, he gets this wrapped around him. He gets the bill. And anybody that anybody cares to name, you'll notice I name people and nothing happens to me. Might be a reason why. I, I'm not guessing who. But there's somebody looking after me with what I'm doing because somebody wants a piece of it. Uh, they're quite welcome to it. When you go, we go to a high court in London. Um, uh, that's where I took John Key into, because the lawyer that I had was a South Korean um, QC. He's now John Key's lawyer, and he wouldn't take my documents anymore. But anyway, uh, the moral of the story is that uh, they are, they are getting caught up themselves in this piece of law that they don't want to. They wouldn't let me in their court, Andy. You wonder why? Mm -hmm. I said, you've got no queen above you, it's only a picture. She's gone, mate. You can't use UCC on me because your boss, the Pope, destroyed all your laws. Not our admiralty. This is our admiralty. How the hell do you get on the land? He went out the back and, and dismissed the case. And that was the end of that. Oh, yeah. But I never got anything. I'm using that as a bill on their heads. Each one, 43 of them, it took 43 of them and all the police to come and get me and put me in jail. You see, so I'm, uh, it's just as well I went to prison and these other Maoris said, I said to them, well, can you go and get that piece of land back that where the Sky Towers, the Sky Tower wanted it to put another Sky Tower on the other side? I, and they said, yep, we can do it, no problem. Well, he put, you got us jailed. Well, just as well I went in jail because otherwise I wouldn't have had a case. You see, I wouldn't have had a case. And just as well, we, I went and got arrested because it got them into trouble. Got everybody into trouble. But gave me a, a case. I've left it there because I can take as long as I'm not limited to how long a case is going to be. So I'm going to use that one for the House of Cards. Once that's snapped, the rest of the titles in the world will snap underneath that one. That, that's, those are Crown Grant titles different to Maori land titles. And uh, so that's how that works, Andy. I still want some questions from you. Yeah, the, uh, the other one would be, um, right now, because like, how, are we, how are you going to make them stand down? Because they, they're, just, they're just ignoring you, like you say, and they'll just walk out. 
So how are you going to actually capture them? How are you going to actually get a, turn a court into your own court, into a court now that we can see that we can see a fact in? Because obviously, well, like you said about the system, the, the whole court system now, how they have it running, is that you will never see a fact. A, a fact will never be heard or tried in a court of law. So how now are we going to make these um, make these judges and make these court system make make the court actually run? correct so that we can actually hear a fact in and we can actually see justice done i've got to do the first one i've got to do the first one here and usually where it all started from right mm -hmm. so i'm 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 um um making sure uh, that this end is right and the other end in britain is right um so in the time that's gone by i'm getting a court hearing ready you'll find that the chinese Never have court hearings here because it's not big enough. The jurisdiction is not big enough, and they got big wallets, big pockets, uh, to go and pay in the High Court of Admiralty in London for their cases and involving a lot of money. Um, but what I do here is this: I set myself as a model first to make sure it works, and then um, I, I, I write, I write uh, to the. Um, British military, again, I've been writing to them, and most times it's ignored, but it's on the record. Um, and um, put a letter to them that this dead instrument will pay their bill. That's one way of doing it. Um, and because um, you, you, you really need protection <coughs> of your instruments or some sort of authority. Uh, higher than in another authority here. I'm going to the High Court here, those are red robes, um, but they are run by New Zealanders. So it can swing against you with the Solicitor General, but I've already won my case. They're not going to try that one on me again in court. Uh, I just needed to pay the fees in the High Court here or the High Court in London for a case against these uh, John Key. That's one, and the two landowners on Cook Street. That's a, um, uh, another land case. John Keyes is a, is a criminal case of um, uh, fraud banks. That's, that's those two scenarios I've got at the moment. I gave those to um, Harold Link. He's a billionaire in Thailand uh, as my equity in a, in, a, in a tidal turbine project I've got. So I've got that instrument. Uh, to go on as credit. All I needed to do, Andy, really, was pay the bill in the court to go to court. That's what's holding me up. Because it's going to cost a lot of money if I put a trillion pounds on John Key's head. Then the court has to be paid before a court hearing can occur to recover the money, the debt. Um, I'll put it at that figure because I've already said those online, what I'm going to do. Intentions of doing things and make it public. All right? So they cannot defend anything of what I'm making statements because they can do the same to me too. They can take me to court too. And it's just, well, I've got nothing for them to go get thing, anything out of except Mary Land titles, which is neither here nor there. So um, I'm only uh, using logic and intuition or, or common sense to make um, instruments of past work for us. And a flag, and a flag work for us. Uh, so when it comes to the court hearing, Andy, this is how it works. I take a court hearing case into the High Court um, in the King's Bench side. It's 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 there. They go and change their hat and go into the King's Bench Court and go into Admiralty. I take that in there. Uh, I've got all the documents to back it up. And then as long as I pay the court fee to get a court hearing in their court, right, on our land, I'm talking about common people's land, um, uh, the court always has the, the authority, but their authority comes from Parliament. So it's still going back into who's got authority over who. It's, it's a battle of wits, Andy. It's my document against your document. And if you don't say anything, it means you're, 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 you haven't got authority over me. So I have to turn that authority into cash. Right? Cash is king. All right? 
Kiss is king. Yeah. Unless you got the cash, you can't do nothing. And I've got instruments to make cash, but I'm not in a hurry to do it. I'm just gathering the people because it's not about John one hour. It's about the people, the beneficiaries of what I do. I'm setting it up, that's all I can do, is set it up and people claim it. Now I've set that tidal turbine as 25 pound share right through the whole world. One share for fits all. And um, so that gives anybody a chance to claim on something that they think is being taken from them and their own interests in, in, in their land or, or their well-being or anything, a threat <coughs> to their national interest for some private corporation's national interest or private interests. So I'm saying on one side you've got the king and his court bench and on the other side you've got the queen and her court bench. At the moment I've chucked everybody in the Queen's bench court side because they can't say they were on the King's side without some documents or some sort to claim that side. I'm going as one for all of them who wants to come on this side. Andy? So that's, that's how I'm doing it. I'm going as a base model uh, for claimants of any sort of denomination from 250 countries in the world that I've advertised as claimants. Or they had to have some beneficiaries of what I do. Otherwise, no one's going to look at it. No, 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 no country will take me seriously if I was getting it for myself. Now, Harold Lincoln in Thailand, he cut a deal with me, a contract. He got me to sign, 60 for me and 40% for him of a tidal turbine that's going to spin out the power. <coughs> this is a basic commercial contract. He got me to sign it. I signed it, made it conditional, un, uh, conditional, and he didn't think that was coming. Um, and, and so uh, it's come to a grinding halt. But if I sign, if I sign without doing anything, he would run the business from Thailand, and I'll do all the work putting the turbine together here. Now we've got China involved now, since he's went quiet on me, I'm talking about how am I going to finance everything, you see? I'm going back to this money bit. And so <clears throat> I've engaged with uh, uh, Chinese people to build these big turbines and the ship and everything, uh, uh, particularly anywhere in the world, uh, and I've decided to go with BRICS, B-R-I-C-S, uh, that's Brazil, uh, Russia, Bruce. India, China yeah, and South China. Africa. Those are BRICS countries that are the superpowers now uh, battling up against these cabalies, right? So you have got those to pull in with the Chinese uh, 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 white dragon uh, against these other red dragons that are running rife around the world and killing everybody and spraying the skies and shaking the whole place down. Um, yeah. Just to just to make money out of it, okay. So Russia has had enough now, and they they want to go and finish off the Rothschilds. Uh, they can do all that work for us. I'm just watching them pull them all to bits, right? But we mm -hmm. are holding the ultimate titles, the ultimate flag that got all of that started: commerce, business, money, gold, and everything from one country to the other. This did it. This did it. So I didn't. Uh, I don't have much money, but I have the means of recovering it all in the court. It has to go in the court, and the only way you're going to go into court is to play their game, Andy. You have to be corporate or some sort of business that you can use their system. Otherwise, you you can't, as a man of the land, you can't walk in their courts and and think you're going to take the whole lot of it. This is a one shot. This is a one-shot court case, Andy. It's only going to get one, one done once. It's only going to happen once in our lifetime. It's got to come to an end somewhere peacefully. All right? There's no guns in this. There's no guns in there. We contract. They put hitman contracts out on people. They're using these admiralty titles for contracts. They're using the maritime law for contracts, for pirates. They call us pirates. Now we call them pirates. You see, on the high seas. So that's how, that's how my version of that question.
Mm-hmm. Got another one? Brilliant. Yeah. Just to explain a bit, a little bit about the um, your hydro, the, your 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 generator. The, the generator. Be, um... The generator works mm-hmm. like this. We have we have the flag to take the generator right through the well with the king's authority and jurisdiction to go and place them anywhere and we don't have to change the flag and put another flag to go into a port. This is the flag of birth, the, the certificates and instruments of money. So the turbine works like this. Uh, we've got a ship uh, long enough, it's 226 metres. I've picked the best ship out, that's a um, um, container cargo ship, flat deck. The turbine, I'm making a model of it by the way, I'm going to make a model. The turbine is, is I'll go get a piece of it. Hang on. Oh, explain. So we've got, I'm starting with this, I'm cutting it out. We've got, we got this, this long tube, all right? That's, that's, that's 150 metres long uh, down into the seabed, into the rock. That 25 metres across here and 150 metres long. It sits on a ship that way and then you've got the pump at the bottom, you've got the turbine between there and another pump on the top and then up here you've got another building 60 metres. That, that diameter of these pumps and the uh, turbine is 60 metres in between. <coughs> they slide up and down that and then you've got another round building here 12 metres high. They're 12 metres high each the middle one is 12 metres high, that can go up and down. When it gets rough, it comes out, out above the, the sea and comes down and holds the whole building together because it's, it's not going to stop. And then we've got one at the top right up here, another round one, 60 metres round with the building 12 metres high. Then one sitting above the water up there. We, we can shoot straight down on the water. <coughs> and so that um, um, sits on the ship and we take it out, the Chinese are designing it at the moment, they're, they're looking at it. And inside there we have the hydro um, turbine blades, um, uh, hydro, the normal st- off-the-shelf stuff in China. It was cheaper to go to China, they are a third the price cheaper than anywhere else, Britain, America uh, and India, uh, where all the uh, generators and turbine hydro, I'm using hydro, we're using high water hydraulics. We're, we're converting a big paddle like that. It goes around and flips up the other way, and goes around up upstream uh, on an angle, and lifts it up and goes downstream, and, and pumps the water like that on the bottom here, right? And the hydraulic water comes up and hits the blades, and yeah. spins the generators and up, and and then the, the hydraulic pressure is coming out into the hydro 50 megawatt generators, that's the ones in the normal hydro dam, 50 megawatts, we've got, we've got uh, 10 of those to make 500 megawatts, right, they just clip straight onto the wall going around, that's a tank of, of the high pressure uh, from the pump in, in under here, and then we've got a shaft going up in the middle in this building, it's got 12 metres, 12 metres, 12 metres, all the way up, all the way up, and those are floors that we can walk around and and, and um, everything, all the compressors, tanks and everything are uh, stacked up inside this middle bit, right? And so um, from, from we, we have another generator here, uh, Elstrom, big one, 21 metre diameter, it's spinning up on floating on water bearing in, in, inside the building, inside this, and so those are generators that will give They've got, China's got the biggest hydro, this is hydro um, um, uh, uh, Francis turbines. Um, they, they put out the 21 metre diameter on the state on the outside of the generator. That puts out 850 megawatts of power. We can take six on this and the blade's only turning one revolution a minute to give all that power. Uh, 5,000 megawatts, we get 5,000 megawatts, all that power belongs to the people. I'm saying everything in this one turbine belongs to the king's common people because we're using the king's authority to put it up. They can't stop us as sovereigns yep. of the king to put that up so to we'll make be, the revenue. We'll be, having, we'll be having free elections then? Or will, uh, uh, I take well, you, 
the product of the electricity. I'm only going on the, the um, uh, amount of power it puts out belongs to the shareholders with a 25 pound share. Uh, and that's the, the, the people, 